Hi, this is John Kalopoulos from our center here in Athens, Greece, the Laser Vision and Through Surgery Center. A very challenging case that we encountered. I've cared for this patient almost two years now. He was a keratoconus patient, had a transplant, as you can see here. This is in 2020. Uh, a lot of loose sutures, neovascularization. We can see that clearly, um, we can see here the graft host interface that's at the limbus inferiorly. This was a decentered graft performed elsewhere here in Athens. You can see how nasal this graft is and the iris was significantly traumatized causing some ear dialysis but fortunately the lens although this accelerated the cataract formation was not injured we can see that removing the sutures carrying through the anterior surface between 20 and 22 improved dramatically the anterior second OCT maps the challenge here is calculating for an interactive lens these are the pentacam images as you can see, the cornea is very irregular, and the key thing here is to go, this is what we've decided with a 3 millimeter pentacam total cornea keratometry amount of cylinder and axis and use a toric lens. The key thing here is that see how the keratometry changes depending on how far from the center we go, and this dramatically changes the power of the lens. So we opted to go with a 3 millimeter keratometry. This brings us to 40 something uh, degrees marked here with the Asico uh, Torque uh, marker, Torque IL marker, going in with my 275 Keratome, using some Epi to attain uh, more dilatation, but there is a membrane connecting uh, the central pupil, and this uh, is a little bit of a problem in the approach. Obviously, we want to treat these very significant iris damage as well, so uh, I'm identifying the membrane, I'm bringing in my long vena scissors and see how it cuts and releases the tension that was there. And I'm removing this uh, strand of iris connecting uh, almost in the middle. Now I have a much better field. I'm going to use um, an air bubble and uh, stain the interior capsule with uh, blue stain in order. Now my uh, viscoat fantastic material in order to coat the graft and reduce the possibility of uh, cornea damage and I'm going to perform the uh, manual continuous uh, curvilinear capsurexis. Obviously this is not an ideal case for femtocataract surgery as we can all assume. The key thing here is to, although the landmark arcs are distorted, to stay centrally with a nice uh, curved uh, Capturexis and the blue dye has the positive, the added positive ability of making the anterior capsule a little bit tougher and easier to tear. And I'm showing the Capturexis in its entirety because I think it's probably one of the most challenging things here. Um, and uh, it's not an aspect that should be rushed, and it will make the rest of the procedure relatively uh, simple. We can see that although the patient is um, under 60, he's 59, this has become a very, very dense lens. We're using the uh, signature uh, device with White Star, of course, by uh, AMO. And uh, the uh, clarity of the graft is relatively good. I'm going to use my divide and conquer technique here and replenish the viscoat in the anterior chamber in order to maximally protect the anterior cells. Well, we can all appreciate how tough the lens is. My uh, central cracking again. The security and the confidence uh, I'm using here is gained uh, purely with the lice of the iris sinicia that we saw initially and the relatively large capturexis. We are uh, now uh, picking up uh, one of the quads and uh, replenish the uh, viscoelastic. Go in a uh, similar fashion that we do with any routine uh, cataract procedure. We can all appreciate how impressive eccentrically this graft uh, was uh, trephinated and performed. Nevertheless, we're here to tie things up and I'm using my uh, split uh, aspiration through the paracentesis. Now methicillial is here to inflate the capture bag and go in with our favorite torque IOL, the aspheric uh, axis of torque, one and a half diopter astigmatism at the uh, 
central cornea diameter that we measured. And we're going to place the lens. And of course, now the issue becomes how do you treat the extreme photophobia that this patient has from the significant irritable dialysis that he has from the injury that was, we assume this was done elsewhere in the State Hospital in Athens. Uh, so we're going to go to our Morcher artificial iris. This is a very easy and simple device. So everything that I've used, it coils, it goes in as a uh, capture tension ring, as you can see here. I've enlarged my incision slightly to go to almost three and a half millimeters, and I'm advancing the artificial iris. Here, usually to get a complete peripheral iris, fixture you need to place two of these in order to not place both of them I'm placing this in the bag and you can see now that it's in the anterior chamber I'm dialing in it with a Sinsky hook and it's rotating my uh, toric eye a little bit so I'm going to come back and uh, replace the toric eye oil in the initial determined axis and I'm going to place in my the second coil of artificial iris over the anterior capsule and in the sulcus. And we're seeing here the uh, delicate maneuvering that is necessary to uh, place this in the capsule bag, uh, try to avoid extreme uh, stretching of the bag. And again, this may seem very long, but I opted to leave this portion of the procedure unedited so now with my Sinsky, I'm placing the trailing part of the um, CTR artificial iris in the capsule bag. I'm going to recenter my lens. You can see the marks on the uh, fabulous uh, Alcon um, axis of uh, spheric torque. And now we're going in with our second coil. It only comes in one color, so dark brown it is. And this will be dialed in. It's easier into the sulcus and we'll do the trick to create a nice iris diaphragm and complete the, the uh, facility of our procedure. So we saw in uh, uh, summary a phaco, challenging phaco. I'm going to put a mattress 10 on island suture here since I enlarged the incision and ensure that uh, there'll be no leakage. And this is the first day post-op. We went from hand motion vision to 20, 50 minus an excellent result. Hope you found this presentation interesting. This is John Kalopoulos from Athens signing out. Thanks so much.